Hello, welcome back to another video. It's my face. It's actually me. Look, I've the hands and everything. How about they have a face attached to them? Fascinating, I know. So, what have I making a video for my for my so special to have my face involved in it? Well, actually, I just fancy doing something a bit different, though the microphone quality might be a little bit less good because I'm doing this for a phone at the moment. So apologies for that. I'll see if I can get a microphone in the future if I carry on doing videos in this format and a mix between that and books. Anyway. Why am I making this video? Please look at this clip I'm about to edit in later. Well, from my point of view, it'll be later. But please take a look at this clip. Scorching Ray. That is six attacks for 12 D6 fire damage plus 36 D8 additional damage. That is an average of 204 and you can- Right, you've looked at that clip. Does that seem excessive to you, the damage that's being described in the fifth edition of the game? In fact, it's doable with this book now. It's, it's doable in this book, that damage. Does that seem excessive to you? It's something that anybody can do in the game. Well, not anybody, anybody who takes the correct class, but anyone could think I'm going to do that and they can land it on their, their DM, their GM in the middle of a game. Can I just reiterate to you that a adult red dragon in the 5th edition 2014 monster rule book, because when I made this video that the newer one wasn't available, it has 256 hit points. Somebody using that combo on the adult red dragon could almost one-shot it. An adult red dragon. That's like... The adult red dragon, I think, is like the 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 poster boy of the flippin' of the the game. It can nearly be one shot by somebody with ridiculous broken mechanics. And that is not to cast dispersions on the gentleman who just made the video. He's a very nice guy and he does a lot of work for charity and and he's just yeah, just you know just an admirable person that makes lots of great videos. He's just showing you what you can do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But unfortunately, what you can do is pretty much one shot. And that, by the way, he goes on to say, isn't like you do it once and it's done. You can do it the next round. What? Who's who's making d d nowadays? It's very bizarre. Somebody's at my door. But my point is, the game is very, and I've alluded to this in previous videos, the game is very much tailored towards a player experience. So much towards a player experience. And that's good in that it gives your players options, as I've said before, much more options than what you'd get, for example, in this book or, or any other OSR book. A lot of OSR books do not give you options, whereas... 5th edition does give you options, or 5th edition 2024 gives you options, but it gives you stupid options, which could... Imagine you've made a big bad end guy, and somebody comes along and says, there you go, there's 200, 210 damage in one round, and I've got another 210 coming the next. Is that not a little bit silly? I mean, I believe Tiamat, the goddess of chromatic dragons has about 600 and something hit points. Well, you could whittle down... You've nearly half Tiamat's health. We're more than half Tiamat. Two thirds, roughly, of Tiamat's health in two rounds. That that dramatic boss fight is anticlimactic. The damage is too much. However, therein lies another problem with 5th edition. Tiamat's got 650 health. The adult red dragon had... 260 or so, a little, a lot more, whatever it is I said a little while ago. They had quite a lot of health. If you come back to a game like, and this is the old school essentials, and I'm annoyed, look at this, my cat plucked it. Anyway, my, um, so the old school essentials, looking at dragons here, they have around about 45 hit points each. A very powerful one, the multi-chromatic dragon, which is pretty much Tiamat, has 72 hit points in old school essentials. Now, the damage is slightly less on certain aspects, but it isn't on all aspects of the old school D&D. And you can still do chonky damage. And combat and old school D&D is much quicker. You're not sat there 
for rounds and rounds doing either stupid damage and one you know one shot in whatever the dm brings you or and but even if you're not doing that you're killing the enemies within a few rounds of combat the combat's deadly your choices are meaningful and it's great and you're not doing silly combos like 200 and something damage and there's many more combos might i just say that was a ridiculous extreme example but go looking for combos that you can do in fifth edition and ways that we could really derail a game they're out there they're really out there and they're not fun to dm for at all i can't see how any of that would be fun for me to dm in a fifth edition game it just wrecking it's silly why why would you want that in the game other than to I mean, it's funny if you're a player, you're like, whoa, look at this. Oh, what are you going to do? But who does it help? What story purpose does it help? It doesn't. Anyway, so my point is, I believe that 5th fifth, fifth edition is just not, it's not as fun to run. It isn't, not that there's anything wrong with it. 5th edition is a great game and 5th edition has great mechanics. And to play 5th edition is enjoyable i would say if you're the player of a fifth edition game it's enjoyable if you're running it i don't think you can possibly remember everything that a player might throw at you not that you could even do that in an osr style game but especially for fifth edition game you cannot possibly remember everything a player is going to throw at you for me sometimes you're taking them on their word as what's happening that 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 is what is happening and that is a ruling for this or any other game like it. Other games exist. Basic fantasy, brilliant ones to get into. So much more simple. Lower damage, but lower hit points all around. Combat's quicker. Rulings are easier. So much easier to go by. So much better. And if you're looking for something like that, might I suggest Blood and Treasure, which I'm going to do a review of at some point soon, which is a great mixture of old school, but it has things like feats, and maybe skills if you want to involve them new school. But then it has the old school vibe. But with the twist of the new school. Because it's got those. um, It's got skill checks and ability bonuses. It uses them. But you don't have to use them. You can do old school ways. It really is a build your own game. Which is right in the middle of 1st edition, 2nd edition, 3, 3.5 and 5th really. It's a, it's a mismatch. Um, and that's something I'm going to talk about later. But anyway. Do you think there are absolutely ridiculous combos out there? I think there are absolutely silly ones. And you just I've just used one example. Please tell me if you think that you've... Or what silly combos you've seen in your game. Another silly combo before I go. You put a bag of holding in another bag of holding. And whatever's near that bag of holding is just non-existent. I mean, you could have anything non-existed if your players get a hold of two bags of holding so you could say well i'm not going to let them get a hold of them which is you know it's in your own pocket but if they manage to get two bags of holding tiamat the goddess of all dragons what well, doesn't matter how many hit points she got <laughs> because she's dead um anyway that was my video just about how silly i find dungeon dragons fifth edition sometimes and and what you can do with it but it's brilliant to play. Anyway, you take care. Bye-bye.